Welcome to Engineering Funda family. This video is a part of Network Theory lecture series and today I'll be going to explain you few very interesting examples based on KVL and KCL. So let us have first question over here. So if you observe here we are having circuit which is given to us and in this circuit we are deal with to find potential between terminal A and terminal B. So here we have terminal A and here we have terminal B. So here we are deal with to identify potential in between A and B and you see 2 ampere current that is going inside with this circuit. So whenever you want to solve this type of question all you can do is you can consider a battery which is having potential VAB that is connected in between A and B. That is how you can consider the question. So as if I consider battery which is connected in between A and B then that will be appearing like this you see and if I say this is positive terminal so that is connected with A and this negative terminal that is connected with B so that is our VAB. Now as if you want to calculate VAB then here simply by applying loop over here we can identify VAB using Kirchhoff voltage law right. So let us consider loop here and in this loop we will apply KVL over here. So if you apply KVL in this loop then first of all we need to see how many batteries are there. So you see we have first battery that is VAB battery and that is happening from minus 2 plus as it is happening from minus 2 plus in this loop I need to consider that as plus VAB then you see this battery is coming in this loop and that is also happening from minus 2 plus as it is happening from minus 2 plus I need to consider that as plus 9 and we have this third battery that is happening from plus 2 minus you see in this direction it is happening from plus 2 minus so I need to consider that as minus 3 and that is equals to potential drop across each of this resistance. So potential drop across resistance of 1 ohm that is 2 ampere current into 1 ohm so that is 2 into 1 plus potential drop across 2 ohm so that is 2 into current is 2 plus potential drop across 3 ohm resistance that is 3 into current that is 2 as 2 ampere current that is given over here right. So if you simplify this you will be directly calculating value of VAB right. So this is 9 minus 3 so that is plus 6 that is equals to 2 plus 4 6 plus 6 12 so 12 minus 6 that is resulting into VAB so that is 6 voltage. So whenever you have this type of question by simply applying KVL we can be able to solve potential in between terminals right. Now let me give you one more very interesting question that is based on KCL so that will resolve your understanding furthermore. So here we are having one very interesting question in that you see we have branches over here and through branches currents are given and here we are deal with to find I1, I2 and I3. So I1 is happening over here, I2 is happening over here with this branch and I3 is happening over here with this branch. So how to solve I1, I2 and I3? So we need to start from here and here if you consider this node and let us say this is node A and let us say here current is I dash. So first what we will do is we will apply KCL over here at node A. So as if you apply KCL at node A entering current is equals to leaving current here entering current is 7 and leaving current is 3 and I dash. So I can say that 7 is equals to 3 plus I dash right. So that is resulting into value of I dash that is 7 minus 3 which is 4 ampere right. Now 
if you see we have this node which is node b now we got the value of i dash so we can apply kcl at node b to have a calculation of i1 so at node b entering current is i dash and 1 ampere and leaving current is i1 so i can say that i dash plus 1 that is equals to i1 and i dash is 4 ampere so 4 plus 1 that is equals to i1 so i can say that i1 is equals to 5 ampere so now we got the value of i1 now to have a calculation of i2 here we will be considering node c and we will apply kcl at node c so if you apply kcl at node c then entering current is i1 and 2 ampere and leaving current is 2 ampere and i2 so i can say that entering current is i1 plus 2 and leaving current is 2 plus i2 i1 is 5 ampere so if i place 5 plus 2 is equals to 2 plus i2 so that is resulting into i2 is equals to 2 will get cancelled and that will make it to i2 is equals to 5 ampere so now we got the value of i2 now let us consider this node which is node d and if you consider node d and if you apply kcl at node d then you will be having value of i3 so let us apply kcl at node d so if you apply kcl at node d then entering current is equals to leaving current here entering current is i2 and leaving current is i3 and 4 ampere so i can say that i2 is equals to i3 plus 4 ampere and we have already calculated value of i2 that is 5 ampere so 5 is equals to i3 plus 4 so we'll be having i3 that is 5 minus 4 so i can say that that is 1 ampere so now we got the value of i3 so by simply applying kirchhoff current law we can easily solve value of current in branches as you have seen that in this example now i'll give you one practice question and you just solve that practice question and you just write down that answer of that practice question in comment box and if any issue is there i'll get back to you so let me show you that practice question over here you see here i'm going to give you this practice question and in this practice question you are dealing with to find vab which is voltage at a minus b right so here current is given and you are dealing with to find vab so let me give you simple hint here all you will be doing is you will be applying kirchhoff voltage law and by using kvl you can easily solve this vab voltage so you just solve that and write your answer into the comment box and if any mistake is there definitely i'll get back to you and if it is required then i'll place video based on same to resolve this query thank you so much for watching this video